but what you're studying, you know, yeah. if the if the second college has the better program for your major, then yeah. you know you definitely should go that way. Yeah. But if the first one is your best shot, yes, then mm. maybe. Right. It's but tough. then again, you never know. Like she could not get in. That's the thing. So I think list out pros and cons of the first and second university, right? And just see which one's more realistic. And if the first one is just, you just if you feel like you have to go, then just go with it. Right. If you feel like no, this is not it. Yeah. Then, then I have it. to go to the first yeah. university. Right. And there's a second problem. Mm -hmm. The university I got accepted into have two different courses that I'm interested in. Uh huh. First is dia dietetics, dialectics. Dialectics. Uh, Di dialect. Diet, uh, diet, dietetics. It says diet. here. Maybe it's a oh, typo. Like diet. I don't know. It spells like D I E T. Yes. Dietetics. Okay. Uh, anyway, that's okay. the first subject. All right. And the second one is science and education. Uh -huh. I have no idea which course I want to choose to major in since I'm interested in both. Mm. What should I do? So it's a similar case to our first question. Earlier. Um. Let's see. I don't know if I have the right to say take one. Or the, or, other. or the other, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I, uh, it's tough because a lot of people go through this uh, issue uh -huh. or go through this sort of um, thinking. Um, again, we always talk about the pros and cons list. Mm -hmm. And then I think making a pros and cons list of each subject is good. And then think about what you want to do after college. Right. What work do you want to do? What do you really want to do? I think that's the best way to solve your problem. Exactly. Just pros and cons. See what you really want to do. Yeah. See if you can really picture yourself doing what you really want to do. Yeah. And if it really makes you happy, then definitely go for it. Right. So, yes, Ines, anyway, good luck. I hope we've helped um, uh, with your issues. Um, yes, good luck. Let us know yes, how, how they turn out. Yes, We love feedback. Yes, because we want, we want to know how our advice helps. Mm -hmm. So, um, thank you very much indeed for your message. Thank you. Uh, let's hear some more music, I think. Pizza Pan Complex with Pom Bom Bom. Spring, spring, spring. She 
Right, Benita, we've got two sort of fun messages now. Uh, just questions, I guess. It's mm -hmm. not really to do with issues. But uh, Sarah from Malaysia says, uh, Sam Panita, what is your favorite song? My favorite song? That's a tough question. That's a really hard one. There's so many. I, I hate when people ask me, who's your favorite artist? I'm That's like, tough. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, there's too many. There are so many. So many. <sighs> is there a song that you're listening to a lot right now? I am actually listening to a lot of Rihanna. Yes, okay. Well, she's extremely talented. I know. I love her song, Diamonds. Yeah, beautiful. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> That's how she sounds That's like. That's the name of her tour as well right now. Diamond oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm just yeah. so in love with that song right now. It's on repeat. Okay, R Rihanna Diamonds. Uh, myself, for me... Um, when I'm in a certain mood, I have favorite songs for that mood. That's so true. Yeah. So if I'm a, if I'm a bit down, I'll be honest, right now, uh -huh. recently, I'm getting a tiny bit of homesickness. Okay. Missing my, my parents and my, my friends and family, whatever. Yes. And I'm listening to a lot of Michael Bublé. <gasps> I was about oh, to say that. You just scared them. Oh, you scared my gosh. <laughs> I was gonna say I love Michael Bublé. Yeah, Michael he's, Bublé. Oh, the the voice is so soothing. Yeah. He's amazing, and oh, I listen to Michael Bublé like every day when I'm getting ready. Yeah. And then when it's raining. Yeah. And also when I'm on the bus alone. So any mood, any I mood, know, Michael Bublé goes. With. Michael <laughs> Bublé is an amazing artist. Yes. So he's cool. But when I'm in like a really good mood, I'm sort of want to get like hyped up. I listen to. I actually listen to Twenty One. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I kind of listen to that when I'm like, I want to strut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Attitude. Yes, kind of. yes. Attitude. Cool. <laughs> Attitude. Brilliant, yes. Uh, <laughs> but yes, Michael Bublé, 21, and who else Rihanna. did we have? Rihanna, yes. Uh, okay, another one. Amelia, uh, recommend movies to watch. Ooh, movies. Hmm. I heard my actual favorite movie is Jurassic Park. Oh, I love Jurassic really? Park. Really? Oh, it reminds me of my childhood. Yeah, all three. I all three. Yes. And I heard I went to Universal Studios like a couple years ago, and they said that they were making the fourth one, and they were like, "Oh, it's going to come out this year." And I was like, "I actually believed it because we were in Universal yeah. Studios, but it never came out, and I was so disappointed." What's happened with that? I know, but you know, actually, they reopened um, Jurassic Park. I think this year. Yeah. To in the theaters again, just to. I so want to watch that. I know. I love Jurassic Park. Okay, so Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. All three. One, two, three. You need uh -huh. to watch all of them. A lot of trilogies are really good. Yes, because it's like a continuation. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, me, I'm a bit of a geek. I've got to say, I love The Lord of the Rings. Ah! I love The Hobbit. I do too. Oh, I, actually, The Hobbit, I was kind of... Really? Yeah. I watched it on the plane going to Singapore. Okay. Because I hadn't seen it. Uh-huh. I think it's, it's not bad. Really? I think Peter Jackson, great film director was kind of like showing in the movie i am peter jackson look what uh, i can do really, really. okay you got that kind of vibe yes okay all right well um i i, I see what you mean yes. i see what you mean it's kind of slow going at the beginning it was really slow but when it gets running you know i mean it's one book and they're dividing yeah. it into three movies yeah so. yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's a little bit different to the book yeah right right um i also got to say i am in love with quentin tarantino oh quentin really? tarantino he's, one, he's my favorite director so all tarantino films um, especially the new one, Django. Oh, Django I James. haven't seen that yet. It's, I have to see it. It's uh, who's it got in it? It's got um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Leonardo DiCaprio and Jamie Foxx. Yes. Jamie Foxx is too good in this film. So yes, you need to watch those. Oh, it's just a girl, right? Yes. We need to do some romantic comedies. Romantic comedies. Bridget Jones Diary. Bridget Jones is cool. Notting Hill. Notting Hill. It's my hometown. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, Notting Hill. I've been to Notting Hill lots. Wow. It's, it's London. It's London. Yes, but um, okay, so we've uh, given movie advice. Uh -huh. uh, let's go to um, two more sort of more serious ones now. Okay, we have one. This is actually a feedback right. from last week. Yeah. Sam, please pass this to Panita. Okay. Yeah, I've done whoop, that. Whoop. To be honest, it's my first time to tuning in to this segment, Talk, Talk, Talk. Right. And I'm so glad my problem was selected. This is Anne Sophie from Malaysia. Uh -huh. I really enjoyed listening to your suggestions. And it's funny that you said that you hope my dad wasn't listening because usually he does because ah. I make him listen when we're in the car. Wow. But not today. So, yay. <laughs> uh, we're saved. And, yeah, I, I will follow your su suge oh, sorry. suggestions sorry. and let you know how it goes. And I wanted to say I love how Panita speaks. Thank you. She sounds so cool, and I love. I would love to meet her either in Singapore or Malaysia, as promised by CT. Definitely. Yes, we need to go. To Get us a plane ticket. First class. 
<laughs> it has to be first class. It has to be, because, you know. We need to lie down. And we're Luna Fly. Well, <laughs> he's Luna Fly, and I'm like, uh, I'm just whatever. We but. don't travel first class all the time. <laughs> I've never been on first class. We've only done it once. Oh, really? Yeah, the rest of the time, economy all the way. Right, right. It's all good. Cheapest way to go. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, we're, we're glad. We hope that helps. Yes. Yeah. I love feedback. You yeah. guys always give us feedback. It gives us strength. Yes, try it out, try it out. Um, so, yes, um, I think we've got one last message and it's uh it's a very serious message that i definitely wanted to put out there so Panita, you know i'd like to give you the the honor of reading it out please okay thank you this is from reina wilden from indonesia hello reina hi dj sam dj panita i am reina from indonesia i want to ask a solution from sam and panita there is one problem that often makes me stressed i lived with my dad and my sisters and my mom passed away in 2004 due to the tsunami disaster. Mm. My dad now is a widower, almost eight years. My mom has, my mom, sorry, my dad has not married again, mm. but I don't know why. Uh, but I'm glad my dad is still loyal to my mom. He loved my mom very much. But here are the things that makes me stressed out. My dad's friends, my mother's big family, and my neighbors ask me and my sisters, why my dad does not marry again right. they are blaming me and my sisters because we didn't give them permission for my dad to get married again mm -hmm. which actually we don't prohibit my dad to get married even though it's hard for us mm -hmm. to accept a new mother in our lives uh it's really making me stressed out and it's really very disturbing my mind thank you and have a nice day right well obviously it's a very sad yes story um, I don't know if there's much that we can say really to make um, Raina feel better. So mm -hmm. how about we do this? Um, I think listeners at home to Super K-pop, if you kind of are in a similar situation um, where one of your parents has passed away or if you have, if you can sort of relate to Raina, then please do. Can you guys message us and then we'll read out your messages next week mm -hmm. and try to help Raina with this issue. So kind of to be continued. Yeah. Let's do that. I think that would be nice. Okay. Raina, uh, we hope we can help you next week, okay, after getting in some messages. All right, let's end the corner now, Panita. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's been a pleasure, as always. Uh, we'll now end the corner with uh, one of Panita's song. This is Indian Inyang Charam, Like an Indian Doll. <laughs> She gives me a ton of